Hi, Logic Language Learners. I hope everybody is really well. Salut tout le monde, j'espère que vous allez bien. So this is the video in which I'm going to be talking about um, our picnic, okay, which happened on the weekend. weekend. Donc euh, c'est la vidéo dans laquelle je vais parler de notre picnic qui a eu lieu, which took place, qui a eu lieu um, uh, uh, samedi. So this is a video where I'm going to be speaking in English and then I'm going to be translating in a gentle speed French. Donc c'est une vidéo euh, pendant laquelle je vais vous parler en anglais et après je vais la traduire en français euh, à une vitesse plus ou moins facile. Um, the, I'm also going to try and stick the subtitles so that you can read what is underneath. Donc je vais Essayez d'attacher les sous-titres pour que vous puissiez lire ce qu'il y a um, en dessous. So that you can will be subjunctive. Pour que vous puissiez will be subjunctive. Notice there's an irregular subjunctive for the verb pouvoir. Okay? Le subjonctif pour le verbe pouvoir, c'est irrégulier. So, Saturday was fantastic. Samedi était fantastique. Um, I was looking forward to meeting uh, lots of people who follow my channel. Donc, j'avais hâte de rencontrer beaucoup de gens, beaucoup de personnes qui suivent, who follow, verbs suivre ma chaîne. Um, I have an individual relationship with the majority of them. Moi, j'ai une relation individuelle avec la plupart. But, obviously, you're never sure... Um, if something's going to work um, together. On n'est jamais sûr. Notice I use on. One is never sure. On n'est jamais sûr si quelque chose va fonctionner, va marcher euh, ensemble. It was perfect. C'était parfait. Um, there was not one person there I didn't get on with fantastically. Il n'y avait pas une personne là avec qui, with whom, euh, je m'entendais très bien. Ou je me suis bien entendu. I got on well. Um, We didn't want, you know, we, we, we met at one o'clock, on s'est rencontré à 13h. Notice we're using we met each other, nous nous sommes rencontrés, on s'est rencontré à 13h, 1300 hours. And we left the last bar after midnight, <laughs> et on est parti du dernier bar après minuit. Um, it was a fantastic group of people, c'était un groupe fantastique de personnes. So, uh, there were lots of different levels of French. Il y avait beaucoup de niveaux différents de français. Um, but everybody was trying to speak to each other in French. Tout le monde essayait de se parler en français. Even two people who were English. Même deux personnes qui étaient anglaises. Um, uh, obviously, we spoke lots of English as well. Évidemment, on sait beaucoup parler en anglais aussi. Um, So we went, we, we arrived by the park. On est arrivé, ou nous sommes arrivés près du parc. Uh, we had a little walk around the gardens. Donc on s'est promené autour des jardins. Autour de meet les jardins becomes autour des jardins. Um, then there is a little secret garden, but I'm not going to tell anybody where that is. Après, il y a un jardin secret, mais je ne vais pas vous en parler. I'm not going to speak to you about it. Je ne vais pas vous en parler. Um, we sat down. On s'est assis. Reflexive verb, s'asseoir. Um, it was just, oh my gosh, we had so much fun. On s'est bien am amusé. On s'est bien amusé. Um, People talked about their lives. Des gens, ils ont parlé de leur vie. Ils ont raconté leurs histoires. Sorry, they, they told everybody their personal stories. Ils ont raconté leurs histoires. And, um, yeah, it was just everybody, it was, you know, there was a lot of support for everybody in their life and their, their goal to learn uh, French. Il y avait beaucoup de soutien pour tout le monde dans leur vie ou dans leur but d'apprendre le français. Leur but d'apprendre le français. Um, Because I changed the dates, uh, some people couldn't come. Parce que j'avais changé les dates, il y avait certaines personnes qui ne pouvaient pas venir ou qui n'ont pas pu. Yeah, who couldn't come in one action. Qui n'ont pas pu venir. Which was very sad. C'était très triste. And obviously, a large percentage of those I work with are based abroad. And I wouldn't expect them to come 
you know, and they don't have to travel for one Saturday. Un grand, un grand pourcentage de qui avec qui je travaille, of those with whom, un grand pourcentage de, pardon, un grand pourcentage de ceux avec qui je travaille, euh, habitent à l'étranger, and they don't have to come for one day. Ils ne doivent, ils ne doivent pas venir pour un jour. Um, but um, it was just lovely. Um, so then after sitting for, after staying there for about three, four hours, après être resté là, notice after doing something is après avoir ou être, après être resté là, après avoir resté, euh, après être resté là. Um, uh, so if you had after eating, après avoir mangé. So after eating, après avoir mangé, we decided to, well I decided, to have a little walk. On a décidé de, de se promener. Um, and we crossed the park and we went up to the top of Primrose Hill. On a traversé le parc uh, et on, est monté, um, uh, on a monté la, la colline. Um, so, um, notice that when you say we went up, it's on a monté. But when you go up a hill, there's a debate in French over whether you say, il y a un débat en français si tu dis on est monté ou on a monté if you go up something else. Um, uh, what was I going to say? From where we could see all of the city of London. Uh, D'où on pouvait voir toute la ville de Londres. Well, on a pu voir toute la ville de Londres. Um, it was fantastic. C'était fantastique. Um, then, uh, then we followed the canal. Après, ensuite, on a suivi le canal. On a suivi le canal. And um, we walked to the restaurant. On est allé uh, au resto. We were early, on était en avance. Um, early as in earlier than a given time is en avance. If you say I'm nice and early in the day, that would be de bonne heure, de bonne heure, of good hour. Um, yeah, and the restaurant, was, the restaurant um, well, I know the restaurant really well. Je connais le restaurant très bien. I get on well with all the team. Je m'entends bien avec toute l'équipe. Je m'entends bien avec toute l'équipe. Um, and um, we, every, the, the, the menu was obviously incredibly French because it was a French restaurant. Le menu était incroyablement français parce que c'était un restaurant français. Um, uh, so people were eating snails and uh, frog legs and things like that. But only as a bit of a... Actually, no, nobody had frog's legs. Um, so some people were eating... A few people were eating snails. Certaines personnes ont mangé les escargots. Uh, there's escargot, and, um, but mostly we ate, I'm really sorry, a lot of meat. For those of you who are vegan and vegetarian, I completely respect you. Pour ceux qui sont uh, vegan, vegetarian, vegetarian, um, vegetarian, I, uh, I, respe I respect you. Je vous respecte. Um, but it's, it was delicious. C'était délicieux. Um, the... Um, then I decided that it would be a good idea to go to a bar nearby. Um, après, j'ai décidé que ça serait une bonne idée d'aller à un bar, um, you know, um, dans le coin, in the corner. That's how you say, in the area. Um, I know um, the people there because it's the bar we go to for a cup of coffee after my um, uh, dance uh, stuff. Donc, uh, je connais le bar parce que c'est là où on va pour boire une tasse de café après, enfin, euh, tu vois, mes cours de danse. I, um, I was amazed. J'étais surpris, j'étais étonné, j'étais époustouflé. Um, uh, it's amazing that we spent 11 hours together. C'est uh, étonnant que nous ayons passé, notice I'm using the subjunctive, uh, 11 heures ensemble. Then everybody went home. Uh, puis ensuite, tout le monde uh, est rentré. Notice again, the verb rentrer is an extra verb. Um, and uh, they've decided to remain in contact. Ils ont décidé de rester en contact. Um, uh, and they're going to start a WhatsApp group where, in which they have a debate every week in French about a different uh, topic. Ils vont commencer un groupe WhatsApp dans lequel, chaque semaine, ils vont lancer un débat, launch a debate, ils vont commencer un débat à propos d'un thème politique, uh, whatever. Um, so really, um, friends for life. Yeah. Des amis pour la vie. Um, and um, 
Yeah, the sun was shining, il faisait beau, il faisait du soleil. Um, we just had such a good time. On s'est bien, bien amusé. So you're very welcome to come. We, uh, we're going to be organizing something similar around about Christmas. Donc vous pouvez venir, on va faire quelque chose de similaire. Not quelque chose similaire, quelque chose de similaire. Uh, for Christmas, pour Noël. Because obviously in London we have beautiful Christmas lights. Parce que, évidemment, à Londres, nous avons des lumières de Noël. And uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to be get, we're going, we're going to be, everybody's going to get together then. Tout le monde va se rejoindre. We'll see the lights, on va voir la lumière, we'll have a little drink, we'll have a meal. Yeah, and that is, um, on va boire quelque chose, on va manger quelque chose, on va avoir, on va prendre quelque chose à manger. Um, and that, obviously, that can include lots of new people. Ça peut inclure beaucoup de nouvelles personnes. So, um... Uh, I don't want you to think that it's the same people have to come at, at Christmas. More people are welcome to join them. Um, je, ne veux pas que vous, je ne veux pas que vous pensiez subjunctive because it's want. Um, uh, yeah, diff lots of different people can come. Beaucoup de, beaucoup de personnes différentes peuvent venir. Um, so, I hope this video is useful. J'espère que cette vidéo était utile. Um, so, what I'd like you to do, those of you who are following this video, ce que j'aimerais que vous fassiez, ceux qui suivent cette vidéo, is try and copy the French, c'est essayer de copier le français, starting at the beginning and getting to the end of the sentence, en commençant à la fin, en arrivant à la fin de la phrase. Um, all, jing, all joined up, tout attaché, with the air, yeah, with the, with the breath, avec l'air, avec le souffle, constant, constant, ok There's another video, il y a une deuxième vidéo, in which I'm going to be saying everything in French first, dans laquelle je vais parler en français euh, avant de parler en anglais. Um, and the speed will be slightly more accelerated, et la vitesse sera un peu plus accélérée. La vitesse sera un peu plus accélérée. That also will be more of a listening test. Ça aussi, ça sera plus d'une pre preuve, euh, euh, enfin, pour l'écoute. Um, and um, uh, I think um, I think it might be a little bit um, challenging for some people, but certainly something you can do. Um, je pense que c'est une challenge pour certaines personnes, mais quelque chose que vous allez pouvoir faire. Personally, I I know this is really annoying to hear. Je sais que c'est très énervant pour vous d'entendre, but it's more difficult for me to speak slowly. C'est plus difficile pour moi de parler lentement because it feels weird. Parce que ça a l'air bizarre. And you say all kinds of crap. Et tu dis n'importe quoi. <laughs> Because you might... It's just, it's just not like speaking normally. Ce n'est pas comme uh, si je parlais normalement. Um, but it's a very, very good exercise for you guys to copy. Mais c'est un bon exercice pour vous uh, de copier uh, ce que je dis. Ok? So, thank you those of you who uh, sent me uh, best wishes and lots of support for the picnic even and I understand that you, certain people couldn't come. Donc merci ceux qui m'ont envoyé ceux enfin vous qui m'avez envoyé enfin vos meilleurs vœux euh, pour euh, notre picnic and I, I'm sorry that you couldn't come. Brilliant. So I hope that was useful. Uh, um, we really did have a good time. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, for purposes of You know, privacy, um, I won't mention anybody by name, um, unless they want me to. They're more than welcome to email me, and I will happily mention them by name. Um, uh, but I will attach a photograph or two, um, because, yeah, because I think that's fair enough. And people have put those on social media, so I think that's fine. Uh, so, uh, brilliant. Um, it was really good fun. So, all of you are welcome in, in December. Uh, and we're going to do something next year where we're organizing a trip to France that would include Paris and more than likely another city. Besançon, I would imagine, because it's just nice and green, nice and empty. Lots of beautiful places to walk where guy, you guys can come. And there will be lots of activities to talk, like French talking, um, send, it's been sent out in teams to do things in French. So do please email me about that if you're interested. Um, in the meantime, if you find the videos useful, can I remind you that I have a coffee account? I will put that underneath and that there are podcasts available for grammar, vocabulary and general lessons. Okay, and I do obviously teach private classes. Okay, guys, speak to you very soon. Take care.